Helena Hutchins' loved ones are bidding her an emotional farewell. Family and close friends will gather for a memorial service this weekend where the Rust cinematographer's ashes are being interred. A rep for Hutchins' husband, Matt, confirmed that the ceremony is private and media outlets are not invited. Matt issued a statement reflecting on Hutchins' legacy and the continued grieving process he shares with their nine-year-old son, saying, quote, Helena was the love of my life, and our loss of her has devastated our family's dreams. We feel the silence of her being forever gone as a suffocating stillness in our home. Our love and adoration for her grows as we tell her story, and we hope her work can inspire filmmakers and storytellers around the world. We thank the many generous supporters who have been so thoughtful in our time of loss. Matt also shared a photo of Hutchins' grave marker, which includes the epitaph, Her light shapes our lives, keep chasing your vision. 42-year-old Hutchins was killed last month when Rust star and producer Alec Baldwin discharged a prop gun during rehearsal on the film's New Mexico set. A projectile struck Hutchins in the chest and director Jules Souza in the shoulder. Souza is currently recovering from his injuries. According to legal documents obtained by Access Hollywood, assistant director Dave Halls told Baldwin that the weapon was, quote, cold or without live rounds before he picked it up. Lawyers for Rust Armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed have maintained that the 24-year-old has, quote, no idea how a live round could have been loaded into the gun and suggested the possibility that dummy rounds on set had been tampered with. Baldwin, Halls, and Gutierrez-Reed are all cooperating with the investigation. Santa Fe County authorities have said no charges have been filed. Earlier this month, the Los Angeles Times revealed Hutchins' haunting last words. Based on interviews with the cast and crew members, seconds after Baldwin fired the gun, Hutchins reportedly said, that was no good, that was no good at all. The filmmaker succumbed to her injuries hours later.